Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter on Mastering Probability. Now, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can just hit that subscribe button. And the bottom line, folks, Steve has a huge amount of information out there. You can get Mastering Probability. The way it works is that you can get it for 29 days for free. That's the reality. That's how, uh, bottom line, it's a 30-day subscription. If you want to keep it, great, awesome. If some reason something doesn't work for you, guess what? You can get all that great information over there. You can uh, take a look at his TD9 count. You can take a look at um, his oscillator and change line. The huge amount of information that you can learn just by subscribing. So come over to our website at TFNN, hit that subscribe button. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, inflation for sure. I filled up my gas uh, car yesterday. Uh, still over five bucks a gallon here in the uh, Boca. Is uh, it? Del Del yeah, so it's five, five paid 509 or 510. And it's been like that. Uh, it, it hasn't really changed much. It's gone. Maybe I saw it just under five a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, and eggs, you know, the eggs. So I, 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 the, I like uh, I, I like to get in some protein. Yeah. I like to get my protein if I can from eggs. So I typically will purchase uh, organic eggs. And, right. and they're now over 11 bucks. The ones that I buy. So you got huge bucks. prices over there, man, because we're oh, they uh, do. At, we do they at do. 93. We're only at 390 over here. Yeah, you know the the and our eggs are only eight eighty three, and that's the yeah. same deal that you are talking about. That's it, that's, it is. So no, you guys it, have it more is. money. That's what's going on. <laughs> uh, well, it's, inf it's you do. You know, it, <laughs> yeah, they like. But the hey, this inflation is pretty intense, isn't it? Oh, it I, is. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Hey, the Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's eventually is going to cost a grand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hey, love it. What do you got? Two eggs on there? That's two bucks. Hey, you right? know what's they so funny? He's, he's bringing up Denny's, folks. Okay, and I just got an email. Jack in the Box is coming into Florida, and I'm telling you, when we were in the Marines, right between Denny's and Jack in the Box, we lived there. So you should have seen me, Steve. I'm going through the Jack in the Box. I'm saying, is there any money in this? Well, there's no money. Don't buy a franchise, folks. There's no money in it. The average yeah, yeah, Jack yeah. in the Box is fifty to seventy-five thousand, and you're going to put up three hundred and fifty grand. Yeah. But I was cracking yeah, yeah, yeah. up because I had <laughs> both of those places I used to live in, man. <laughs> I, well, I, I would add uh, Taco Bell to that. That was always Taco Bell was for me was always good hangover. Food. I love Taco Bell, <laughs> loved it. Yeah, exactly. a little grease, a little grease to go totally, with that hangover. Man, totally. <laughs> so okay. you mentioned that the newsletter has a lot of information. Yes. This is one of the. This is one of the. Uh, in essence, uh, charts, graphs uh, that uh, subscribers get. So each morning, um, they get to understand what the current market outlook is for multiple time frames. So those time frames being a, a monthly, a weekly, a daily, a 15-minute, 30-minute, 65, 130-minute. So it tells you for that specific time frame, first, what the market condition is as of as of the time that the newsletter goes out. Yeah. Uh, it tells you where we're at. You mentioned the TD9 counts. It tells you where we're at with regard to the counts. The ones with stars next to them are identifying that there's a potential for a top or a bottom out there. Uh, we've got even part of the uh, Chapman wave counts. We've got different levels of support. So it, it provides you with all the information for, and this covers uh, equity futures, metals, uh, oil and gas, debt, commodities, um, the index ETFs, the diamonds, the Qs, and so forth, the sectors inside the S&P 500. So it really provides an individual with an opportunity to understand, to answer their own question. What are, what is this, is the market bullish or bearish? And then specifically for the uh, time frame. And I use these different, uh, different intraday time periods than most people do. So if we take a look at a stock or an ETF, what we know is that what we're looking at from a trading standpoint is six and a half hours worth of data. So what I've done is I've just taken that when I take a look at a bar for my for my tools, yes. for my pattern recognition, I like to have equal time frame bars. So there's 295 minute bars that make up a 390 minute day. If we're trading for six and a half hours, it's 390 minutes. There's 330 minute bars. There's six 65 minute bars. There's 13 30 minute bars. There's 26 15 minute bars. So I just suggest for anybody that's analyzing a chart and trying to compare apples to apples that they make sure that the bars are using the same types of time frames. So that's why I use these different time frames out here. The current scan that we took a look at showed a potential TD9 count, well it actually showed a TD9 count bottom 
for the XLB, for the healthcare sector. So let's go investigate that. So here are the multiple time frames. And on a monthly chart, what we can see, and that's in the upper left, price was just consolidating with inside its TAS market profile. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, what we see here is this identified, this formed an actual TD9 count bottom. So we've got a bottom pattern for the weekly. The daily confirmed a TD9 count bottom pattern on a Thursday of last week. The 195 minute confirmed a TD9 count bottom. So, and all these other intraday charts out here have bottoms. That's really what you want to see when a daily, so if a weekly time frame gives us a top or a bottom signal, right now we'll just talk about a bottom signal. What you then like to see is the shorter term time frames come back and confirm that. Well, here you had a weekly, now you've got a daily out there, and that's for the XLV. So in summary, the multiple time frames are suggesting the XLV was absolutely bottoming. And that is where the use of this 15-minute time frame chart comes in. 15-minute time frame chart, or 15 or 10-minute. But here we're going to take a look at a 15-minute time frame chart for the XLV. So these green lines that I have on this chart here, Tom, these are what I refer to as TD9 count breakdown resistance levels. The cool thing about the TD9 count pattern is it gives us a objective level of where price is broken out from or broken down. So if a instrument on a daily time frame is going to form a bottom, we will see resistance levels fail on those shorter term time frames. So it's nice to have that daily signal yes. and then come back and see is resistance failing. Well, here we take a look at the XLB. We can see two resistance levels failed. Now, I don't know where it's trading right now uh, at this moment, but the next resistance level is up at 133.01 for its 15 minute time frame. And if price starts busting through now, this is to the downside, TD9, TD9 breakout support, and that's identified here with these red lines. Well, then that's going to tell us that there's a short-term change in trend because we're using a 15-minute time frame chart out here. But this is really helpful in trying to put the daily time frame together with intraday. I'm not asking people to trade intraday. I'm trying to show them the useful benefit of where an intraday chart can really help to confirm the outlook that you have on something that you're trading. Right, because exactly. you're getting confluence, time. basically. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And so here, this is an afternoon report that uh, uh, oh I've got the wrong one in there shoot sorry about that um, oh uh, well so at the in the afternoon they get a report similar to this it shows the top 10 instruments apparently I, I didn't copy that one in here but it shows the top 10 instruments for the S&P the Dow the Nasdaq the Russell and the semis which are the most popular instruments that are traded there so it gives you the same type of information that here is in this uh, morning report now um, this is still the XLP. So let's take a look at the Amazon. Because in the case of uh, Amazon, it was also breaking through resistance levels. So Amazon had established, boy, I really screwed this up in my presentation. Sorry, Tom. No, no, we got uh, it. We got it, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But here we can see on a short-term basis, again, Amazon, which had bottom patterns out there. And that was really part of the signals coming from the top 10 charts out there. We can, again, see how this has broken through short-term resistance areas. Here's a typical retirement account a set of charts out there. So people wanting to manage their long-term funds, it tells them exactly what the current conditions are are using my set of tools, whether things are bullish, they're bearish, they're consolidating. So it really helps an individual to manage their assets, which is really what it's all about. And folks, it was so cool when Steve was showing those, those top tens, okay, is really tough when, you know, you get a couple of those top tens that have large waiting structures. You're going to stay up. I mean, that's the bottom yeah. line. Exactly. Get over to our website, folks, at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see Master and Probability right on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. You're going to have some action, too, because Paul's going to be talking. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> stay right there, folks. Come right back.